person who was standing beside me. It wasn't that lady. But it was completely different. Okay. I'm there. I'm there. Thank you very much. Now, can you make that light go off again? <laughs> oh, you yes. stop! I'm there. I'm there again. Could you light up the red light now? Uh, oh my god, there was somebody stood there. No, 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 there was. There was somebody stood there. Oh my god. There was somebody stood there when you turned around. Ruffa Airfield and Control Tower was once home to over 3,000 American crew from the 94th Bombardment Group from 1942 to the end of the Second World War. 153 aircraft were lost with 1,800 airmen killed, missing in action, hurt or captured. The base has had its fair share of tragedy. In 1943, tragedy struck the base again when a B-26 plane crashed outside the Control Tower, killing the crew on board. Paranormal claims arrive at the airfield, from strange lights, apparitions, disembodied voices and footsteps, strange smells and poltergeist activity. The HBI team dedicate this episode to all servicemen and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Hi everybody, Steve from HBI here. Tonight we are at Ruffham Air Museum in Bury St Edmunds in England. This is a former World War II American and British Air Force Base. Um, we've got quite a few uh, places to investigate tonight, both inside and outside. This is our base room, which is kind of um, a cafe. Um, there's a radio room through there. Lee, you've seen a full body apparition already uh, through there in the radio room. During an analysis of this video footage, the team spot a strange white figure in the doorway. Lee, you've seen a full body apparition already uh, through there in the radio room. This isn't an apparition, as creepy as it looks. This is why all good paranormal teams scrutinise their footage. This strange figure in the doorway is in fact Dan setting up the team's equipment. However, Lee had seen a figure disappear in that very room earlier on. Uh, which you thought was actually one of the team initially, but then realised that we were all accounted for. Yep. And nobody else is on the base. And there was nowhere was... else anybody could go, and we're the only people here, yeah. And they literally walked through a wall? Practically, yeah. 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 Okay, so that's a good start already. Yeah. Team one head to the radio room at the back of the base room. If there's someone in this room with us, please could you give us a sign to let us know that you're in here? The simulator, you probably use this lots. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for us. We really do come with complete admiration for all of you that worked at this airbase. For lots of gratitude for the sacrifice that you made. It may seem silly for us to be asking you to do things like move a ball, given how very skilled and highly intelligent you all are. However, we need you to do these things sometimes to help prove that you still are around. Who's the man that Lee saw earlier? Any of the, the members of the 94th Bombardment Group, are you here with us at all? Any of the airmen and women? Or the other BGs that were based here? All worthy of recognition. Any of the crew of Sweaty Betty, are you here with us? I believe you may have lost your lives at sea, but you may have come back here for whatever reason. 
Yeah, I think some spirits just outside these Nissan huts. Um, we'll see if we can get a bit more information who they are. Let me do a vigil out here. But as we as we were having a look round earlier, we both felt that we were being followed. Yep. Um, and when you get inside the building, you certainly feel like you're not alone in there, don't you? Just announce when you go in, Steve, because yep. there's statics are running. Stephen Lee coming in, doing the walk around. Okie dokie. Do you feel... Do you feel anybody in here, mate? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Quite, quite a lot. Yeah? I right. really feel like there's... I said this earlier to Jem, like, there are eyes literally everywhere, just what, like, who the hell are these? Yeah. Um, so, it's like this, there's a spirit on the stairs for a start, and there's some movement down here. Okay, so, this is going to be a really interesting building to investigate. So basically there's lots of rooms, which is uh, it's commonly used as a museum. So you've got a lot of um, artefacts through the building, pictures, history. Um, I've not managed to have a look in detail yet. You probably have to spend quite a bit of time reading all the information in the museum. Uh, but it's certainly, from previous museums that I've been to on airport for spaces, they're quite emotional reading the stories. And looking at the um, damaged Air Force parts that they've that they've got on display. So again, lots of pictures. And uh, there's lots of uniforms as well on display. It is, it's absolutely brilliant what they've done here. So we've got a camera in this room and we've got a mini rem and the shadow tracker on the floor down there which you'll see so we've got just this. watch that shadow tracker in front yeah, of you yeah yeah i've got it mate so there's part of an aircraft here at the end um there's a case here full of like ammunition and bullets, bullets and spoons knives all sorts of things uh, so i've not really had a close look at it yet but absolutely fascinating to see Team 2 head into the control tower, where things are about to get very strange indeed. That's Steve. What? That's just come on, why haven't you? What happened? That was recorded. So that stopped and played by itself. Mm -hmm. That's just stopped and played by itself. So that was recorded. Right, we'll have to. It's pretty bad to record, isn't it? Okay, so weird thing with the recorder, so I've had to start it again. So this is the vigil in the control tower. Is there anybody in here with us? Please don't be afraid of us, come forward, come and make yourself known. Got lots of pieces of equipment that will hopefully be able to help us hear or see you. There's a ball on the floor just in front of our feet that if you go near it or try and move it, it will, well if you try and move it, it will flash. If you can try and do that for us, that would be great. There's also a box on the floor behind me. If you go over that box, you try and walk over the top of it, then the light should try and flash. If you can do that for us, that's amazing. What about the person who was humming earlier on when Lee and I came over? Are you still here? We definitely heard you. That smells not there this time. No, no. So? Where do you want it? I don't know, but I just thought I heard a woman on in there. There was. There was? Yeah. Did what, you? No. 
Fenton. Uh, okay, can I just say that there are several spirits in here now. Okay, good. Hello, welcome. I presume the tap behind me was just some settlement Set of the, the wall or something or other. That's what I took it for. Yeah. yeah. But you never know. So how, how many spirits are there here? Do you think, Steve? Or well, can you see you? Shit. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. <laughs> right. That freaked me out. I I've just seen. I've just seen somebody stand behind Lee. Just a flash of them, male. Um, literally right up to your back, mate. Where's the cell sensor? Steve's got it. In my hand. Oh, you've got it in hand. Yeah. Right, so. Um, there is one behind Lee. And then uh, there's another. There's two spirits between Lee and Jem. There's a male just to my left, just outside the room. He's in full uniform. I'd say he's an officer looking at him. Okay. I wasn't expecting to see that when I looked up then at you. <laughs> <laughs> Are they aware of one another? Um, sorry, that was my... Take a breath in that noise. Um, I'm not certain at the moment. They're not interacting. Team 1 continue their vigil in the base room. Please, we ask again, if somebody is in here with us, please affect one of our devices so that we know we can't see you. But it would be nice to know that you are here. So if you can hear us and see us, please do something for us. Out. Pardon? There's an out. Would be all right. There's something just stuck in the left thumb. Stubbed you? Yeah, it's just like someone just put a pinprint into me. That's what I felt in my ear. Oh, wow. Well, I'm recording anyway. A sharp pain in my ear, that's what I have. Yeah, mine was... It's... It's weird, because it's... I can't feel where it went. I can't, I can't feel it now. Yeah, yeah, my ear's fine now. Yeah. Whoever that was... Bloody hell. Don't hold oh, very yeah. much. Now, if you the same person has just given Robert stick there. If it is, can you do that again? Set that off. Somebody stabbed him, pricked him, knocked him or whatever. And me in the air. Oh, thank you ever so much. We can feel you. Thank you. Could you perhaps move closer to Rob again? Go and touch him. Oh, I just saw like a, a sparkle of light. No, I saw a light, but I don't know what kind of light. Did something caught my eye? It was like glittering, um, but it was on the table yeah. in front of the, the phone. Yeah, I saw it, but I couldn't say whether it was a sparkle or a flash. It, I just saw some light at the corner of I my eye. I was looking squarely at it then. It was oh, like, wow. Like I saw that. sparkles of light. I saw that. Okay. Dan, can you do me a favour? Yes, mate. Point the camera at the camera. Uh, don't, don't move, don't move, go back to me, go back to me where you were. Almost don't you? Just, just turn to, to Hannah and then slowly pan around to Lynn. I just have a whistle now. A very high pitched whee! And then take a step to your left. We would love to know how many of you are in here. Is it just one? And if it is just one of you, can you light the ball on the counter again? What are you seeing, Rob? Shadows? Yeah, I think there's, there's two light sources in here. There's, the camera's giving down 
a big shadow on the wall. There's also a small shadow on the wall. I'm thinking that's the light source from behind me. Yeah, is that uh, telly on the wall, isn't it? In the kitchen. Let's go upstairs. Unfortunately, we can't get up on the control tower roof. Um, there is um, a platform around this building with some stairs, but unfortunately, the lower section of stairs is not there, so we can't actually get up there, unfortunately. So. Okay, so here we've got more uniforms and some letters. So you just need to spend quite a lot of time looking at this more closely if we get opportunities. It's a fascinating place to visit if anybody gets a chance to come here. This will be an interesting room to do a, a vigil in with the mannequins. Yeah, creepy. Yeah, absolutely. I don't feel anything in this room actually at the minute. That's it. Yes, that one? Yep. Back in the control tower, Team 2 are about to get the shock of their lives. There's lots from... I'm sure it's called the Miss Mission Mistress. Between you and Ellie, there's a tall... There's a tall spirit. Okay. I can see the height of them. I can't quite see the features. Um, they look like they're six foot plus. Okay. Um, Very tall then. Yeah. Now Ellie's. I mean, you won't see it with your naked eye, but there, Ellie's casting a quite a big, tall shadow on the back wall, but you won't see that. No, I can see it through on. here on so the infrared. I can't, I can't see anything casting a shadow anywhere. No. So it's not a naked eye thing? No. Yes, a lot of the parts of the plane that sadly went down. Did I hear, just, just as you I were speaking, heard. there was a thud yeah. or a footstep from, yeah. I'm not sure if it was above us or it sounded like round near you yeah, to me. There was, it sounded like a thud. Yeah. It wasn't like that noise behind me with the settlement. It was a, a thud. Oh, I didn't hear So it was just before Gemma, just as Gemma started to talk, it happened. Are any of the artefacts in this room related to you? Or maybe one of the planes that you were that you used to fly? So Any, like, sorry, is anybody feeling anything? No. I feel, I've started to feel, I mean I know it's cold anyway, but I'm starting to feel really cold, particularly around my legs. That's very interesting. I, I've because got very cold feet. My feet are freezing. Because, yeah. Let me tell you what I'm seeing is um, crawling on the floor with a a gun. Okay. Um, in in yeah, they I can't see the face because the the head is facing up past your feet. Okay. But there's a spirit on the floor with a gun, that, but they don't seem to be aware of us. Of us. Okay. I mean, there are a lot of kind. Of, there are guns and ammunition. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of artifacts in here. Yeah, there's a lot of bits of uniform. There are two um, military helmets in here. One looks like it's had quite a significant. Well, something smashed through it at some point. God, my feet are freezing. There. Oh I've got two bloody pairs of socks on and boots, yeah. and my feet are out. They're like ice. Oh, it, bad, it, 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 it actually it hurts. My feet are that cold. It hurts, but it's only my toes. We have both. I've got a funny, this funny little pinchy feeling on my elbow. It's like the um, the gun is like 
uh, pointing out of an aircraft, so they're a, they're a gunner, aren't they? Yeah. That's basically what what I'm seeing. They're not actually they're not, actually on, they're the not actually on the ground. No. no, they're actually a gunner. What does the gun look like? It's still there. That's a, I've got a, I've got a thing going on. So it's got. I can see, like, a, there's a, a case. Uh, it's quite long, there's a bit of a case obviously the ammunition, some, there's some mechanism. They're quite young. Mm -hmm. I can't see the face because they're facing away from me, but they look quite young from what I can see. Does he know we're here? It doesn't appear to be, no. I, I, there's, there's nothing to tell me that that he's aware. What about the really tall man? Right, so he's still there. Again, he looks like a, an officer. He's dressed like an officer. Similar to the man that's just outside the door here. Okay. Steve can see you, but we can't necessarily see you. So you're going to have to do something that makes everyone else aware that you're here. And that it's not just Steve's projection. We need we need you to either walk down the room, see if you can set any of these lights <coughs> off, if you can move or tap on this case behind me and set the music box off, that would be amazing. See if you can get that to play music again like you did before. Seemed to happen when I mentioned the 94th Squadron. Oh, there you go. Wow. That was EMF. Wow. That was EMF that triggered that. Outside yeah, the there was. Someone's just walked by the fucking window. There's nobody out there, is there? There shouldn't be. Somebody has literally I, just walked I by that window. Me. We need that. to get out quick and have a look. Let's go, go. Have a look. let's go. Right, so I'm going to stay in here. Stay in here. Who the fuck is out there? Yeah, Mate, there's nobody out here. Okay, it's just me and Ellie in here now. If you can do anything for us while the boys are outside. We can't see you like Steve can, so we don't know where you are or what you look like, but you can make us know that you're here by touching that device again, or the one on the floor, that little ball on the floor. Thank oh, you. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. That's compass. You, did you see a, a silhouette of a person walk by the window? It went, it went, um, it went left to right. Yeah. Across the window. It fucking did, yeah. yeah we both saw it. Oh my God, Steve. There's, there's nothing there. There's no cars or nothing. That's just got, it's just gone off again. Gone off again. Oh and it was the compass God. this time. Right. We asked, babe, listen, yeah. we asked about the 94 squadron again. Right. And it's, and it's just, it's Who's gone here? off on the That's compass this time. Ellie. Oh, Ellie. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. It went off on the compass this time. We asked it to, to do again. something on the music box. I said, can you get that music box to start to, to play music again? And it did it within seconds of me asking it to do it. Like, yeah. literally. And just to confirm, nobody is out, out there. There's no cars either. There was definitely a light that went past well, there. I didn't see a light. I saw a shadow light. walk by. I saw a light like somebody was walking past with a torch. Torch, yeah. But then, like you say, there was like a shadow there, that went yeah. across. Yeah. There's nobody out there. I saw it too. Anywhere. There's nobody there. Sorry. Okay. That is fucking insane. So it wasn't any of our lot then? No, there's there. nobody out there. there. There's nobody we'd around. Hear them, though. If there was somebody out there, we'd hear them. We'd hear them walking. Oh, I hope to God that camera's picked it up, but I don't think it would have done. And I, I would, 
I don't think I've got it on this. No, because you weren't pointing it. Oh my I god. Agree. But we can both we confirm can that we yeah. both saw. Three of us saw. There was, there was, there was, there was, light, there there was a light the like a torch, and then and there then was the, the silhouette of, of somebody walking yeah. by this. this that window. Yeah. It yeah. was just Even, after that You see, with yeah. the IR, it just looks like it's a curtain, but what you can't see is we could, if I can turn off the night vision a minute. No, you still can't see it, but we can see outside through the curtain. That was insane. Because that, that was a person. Yeah. Can, can you show the guys what you just did for us just now when they left the room? I said, the boys have gone now and we can't see you like Steve can, but if you are still here and you can hear us, you can let us know by touching that device again. And it, it yeah, went. and, I, and I, I said, didn't I? I said, if you can get, get that device to play music again, that would be amazing. And it, and it, and it literally it. within seconds, didn't it? It went yeah. off. And, and we said, thank and none, you. Of us were none of us were touching it, and it was the compass part that went off, not the EMF this time. So thank you for that. We appreciate that. It's nice to know you can hear us. Again, it feels like I'm not alone in this room. It feels like you've got eyes on you, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. We don't get that everywhere that we go. Um, what have you just seen? No, I've not seen. I heard voices. You heard voices. Did you on. hear it? I heard. Uh, it was. It was. It sounded like somebody having a conversation. Right. Okay. In one of the other rooms. And there's no D in this building, apart from us. Let's just have a minute. Okay, Rob. Just remember that I thought I heard either two women talking or a group of people talking. So just just have a listen back for that to see if we've caught it. I swear I heard voices over Steve as he was talking. It wasn't one of the floorboards creaking, was it? Just it, it might have been. It could have been all the matrix in. Just have but, a careful listen back to that, Rob. Yeah. It's the floorboards. It's the floorboards, isn't it? It's that's what it is. It is. It, they sound like women. They sound like voices. Debunked. Debunked. It's the floorboards. So no, we've got to be that. careful of that. Because the void. Because they some of the floorboards ridiculously sound like voices. How mad is that? Yeah. Team 1 head to the control tower and do an Estes spirit box session. Then something very strange happens. As Hannah asks for any spirits to touch Rob, there is a sudden flash of light that moves towards Rob's head. We have eliminated this being a bug or dust particles. This remains unexplained. Could you perhaps move something in the room for us to let us know that you're still here? Or maybe you could touch Rob for us? How many other spirits are here with you? How many other spirits are here with you? How many other spirits are here with you? Can you step forward and talk to Rob for us? If you could tell Rob what your name is, please. Oh, that creaking then. It was over there. The cupboard. Double. Double what? What does double mean? Is that the name of the plane that you flew? Were you double crude? Thanks, Rob. Well, you came up with a few things. You came up with the word Sam and double. And when you said double, there was a massive crack on this cabinet yeah, behind you. Yeah, I heard that. Um, so I'm just going to have a quick look at this cabinet just to see. There's a door there, isn't there? Well, actually... Yes, that door leads to a radio room. Have a look inside it. 
Oh, is that why you're getting a crackling thing? No, because it's just like the settlings that. Um... Oh, they are. Just when you said the word double, I don't know. that that uh, we heard a big bang. Team two head to the base room to do a vigil. Are you okay, Steve? <laughs> that honestly, that looked it was weird. Like Something went through me that was freezing. Literally, I froze just like something had just walked through me. My legs have got really cold. And now I'm not. That's really weird. That's really weird. What were you, what were you about to say? Because you were about to say. I was say about something. to say, I can see, I can see a spirit appearing, and it just went. I just went absolutely freezing cold. Was it that spirit that caused that loving? I guess it must have been. Is, uh, is it still here? No, I can't see it just at the minute. It was like, sometimes I feel them starting to appear. There's a change of energy and you start to, to see a form sort of. Yeah. But it's just like it just went through me. Oh. And now I'm back to normal temperature. That was weird. That actually was quite unpleasant, I have to say. Is Alan your first name? Or is it your surname? Wow. That's the music box. Yeah, that's the I music know box. it's the music box. Okay, we're talking about Alan. Is Alan your first name? If Alan's your first name, can you make that music box go off again? If Alan is your surname, can you make the music box go off? There was a Lieutenant Allen who worked in the radar room. Is that you? There's also an airman called J. Allen. Okay, I'm just going to say some names. If any of these people are here with us, can you try and do something to let us know? Lieutenant Jack Collins. Lieutenant Gordon Henry. Sergeant Clinton Hallman Jr. Sergeant James Tate. Sergeant Raymond J. Von Bokel. As Jem calls out this name, the audio on the table picks up a possible voice saying something. The cam mic does not pick up this same voice. Sergeant James Tate. Sergeant James Tate. Is there anybody here with us? Can you make that noise again? We need something loud and tangible that we can all hear. Ah. Hello. Thank, Thank you. you. Brilliant. Shall I go and 
go and have a look what that was? Yeah. That was practically on command. Yep, yeah. that's what we wanted. What have you just heard? A footstep. I've just heard it like a, a footstep on the it I sounded it, it sounded exactly like that. I thought there was a gravel one over there. Yeah. I thought we were standing here. That's I weird. Heard yeah, yeah, I heard the owl, but okay. Is there anyone around here at the moment? Could you perhaps step on the gravel again for us? Is there anyone here? Did you just walk towards Gemma? Perhaps you could run around this area again for us so that we can hear you. Seems to be pretty quiet again, doesn't it? During the course of the investigation, teams set up two static cams, both in the control tower. One upstairs in the main room and one downstairs in the back room. The following was caught on these cams during the night. This strange noise happened only once during the night. The noise isn't heard by the team downstairs. It sounds almost like an engine from a large plane flying over and disappearing, but no planes flew over that evening. Have a listen and see what you think. This remains unexplained. Thirty minutes into the first hour and a strange light quickly appears at the top left corner of the window at the bottom of the room. Known team member was outside in that area at the time. Could this be linked to the figure with the light the team saw in this very room? The team called time at Ruffham Airfield. Apparitions and strange lights seen, feelings are being touched and strange noises heard. Could this be the most haunted airfield in England? <laughs> 